Welcome back to our channel. Today it is my turn to go shopping at the thrift store for stuff for Russell to upcycle. Okay guys, I just got back out of the thrift store. It is so awkward filming in public. I'm not quite there yet, um, but you know, we'll see what goes in the future. I did get some things. I spent, I spent 10.50. Here's a sneak peek of one. Um, and I bought one small thing that I have a very specific idea for. So we'll see if Russell will want to do it. It's not something I know how to do. So I'm just gonna kind of give him the idea and see if he wants to do it. Wish me luck. So. So you went to a thrift store right here. Yeah. yeah, see what I got? I do. <laughs> he already kind of saw it cause yeah. they're yeah. right here. Yeah. But just, it's just for acting. suspense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's item number one. What is that? It's a mail slot thing, I think. Like, put your mail in it. Hmm. But it's wood. It is wood. And it's like quarter inch veneer oak, looks like. Well, sure. come up with something for that. I'll just use it to put things in. Underwear, socks. <laughs> okay, here's the other one. Ta-da! Hmm. Shoe rack? It's a shoe rack. You it's wood, it's all wood. Like this, the so. dowels, those are nice dowels. So, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, but I have to figure out what I'm doing with them. You can make one thing together or multiple things. Hmm. I figured you could at least get a couple projects out of those. Not the same. It depends on the scale. Okay, okay, and I have one other thing. Yeah. But I have a very specific thing in mind that I, I want thought to. I got creative freedom. You do on those. <laughs> A pot. So this is the other thing, it's a tiny little vase. What um, I want you to do is create like a rain cloud. A rain cloud? Um, I can't make clouds, Lindy. I know you think I'm a good I'll show you. worker. Uh, that's all like ceramic stuff. Exactly. Off to your shop. Mm, okay. Brought the pieces in the garage. I have a plan in my head. Well, this one I've been directed, so I have to see if it works, but I'll have to drill a couple holes in the bottom and make some kind of stopper for in there. This I'm gonna make into a little side table. It is, I think it's just a pine wood, but it has all these dowels. Um, I think I could do a cool little piece. So the thought process I'm having is to make a little side table for beside like our circle chair upstairs or maybe beside the couch. I think this should be a good height. This is the only height I can have because this kind of decided it for me based on these dowel lengths. Um, so this will be the middle pedestal leg, leg. I don't know what the technical term is for that. And then I'll have a round top on here and a round top on there. And then yeah, I'll make a cool little side table. And these will get glued. I'm gonna have to figure out how to connect securely the top to the bottom, but that's, a future issue right now. This is, this is working. These are the two sides from the shoe rack. My thought process is I don't, like these by themselves aren't gonna be big enough for a top, but if I glue them together, like so, 
that's actually a decent size. That's about, I can probably get a 12 inch diameter round circle out of the deal. So first I'm gonna run these edges to my joiner, um, my router table joiner, to, so that I can get a nice tight glue up. And then we'll have to let that set and we can try and figure out how to cut a circle. These look great, got a top and a bottom. Now I need to turn these into circles that are like perfect circles. So I need to, I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of contraption to make on my router table that I just spin against a router bit that's safe, I think. The table is all finished and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. It fits perfectly with the chair and it ties into the space really nice being next to the built-ins that are also the same color and same wood stain. So from a $4 shoe rack to, I don't know, you probably could pay a couple hundred dollars for this in a store, I think this was an awesome thrift flip. Lindy wants me to turn this vase, vase or vase, I'm gonna go with vase, into a watering can, which seems crazy. So I'm gonna have to drill some holes in the bottom of that, and I have my diamond bit that I use for tiling um, to do that. There's a chance I break it. Um, I have water, I'll go slow. This is pretty thick, so that is gonna help. I just gonna have to risk it for the biscuit. So the way this works is it kind of works, you would dip this in a bowl or a pot of water and then you use like a vacuum, you plug, even with my big thumbs, I can't plug the top. So I need to make some kind of cork system. I tried using wine corks already just to test if that would fit, but they're too small of diameter. So I'm gonna have to make some kind of 
unit or piece um, to plug this hole and maybe glue it in place. I tried making a dowel. This is from like an old wood dowel and I tried sanding it. I don't really like how it fits. And then when I was going through my cupboard, I found some easy mold silicone putty. So my thought process here is I'm gonna make a mold, put it in here, let it set. Then I'm gonna push it out and then I'm gonna make another mold of the mold I just made. And then I'll pour fast cast into that and then I should have a perfect plug that sits in here. So that's my plan and see how it works. It's a complicated one, but that's how I tend to do things. So, and I think it will give a really nice look. That's, that's ultimately what I want. of a test and the thought or how it's supposed to work is you dip it in water with not plugging this hole and then you put your finger over it and it's supposed to have like a vacuum because the air can't get out and then the water drops but it didn't quite work and I think the issue is is that these holes are too big. I'm gonna try and install some little dowels and drill holes in that. Um, see if this works. There was a bit of trial and error, but we got Lindy's watering cloud to work and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's a nice little piece and I think it would even be used for decor when you're not using it to water the plants. Thrifted is unthrifted and repurposed. The thrifted is upcycled. Upcycled, unthrifted is, that's just a thing. That's a say. new word. That's a new word. <laughs> no, you did good. I'm happy. And I used, I didn't use the one little thing that you, the mail organizer, but. So if you guys, if anyone out there has ideas, ideas for it, we're gonna have to move that over to the next thrift flip. I have some thoughts, but. Well, I mean, what you did with the ones I gave you was pretty good though. Yeah. If you want to see us shop for each other and do another set of thrift flips, let us know in the comments below and let us know what you think of Russell's flips. I yeah. think he did pretty good. I, I think I won so far. <laughs> it's not a competition. Oh, okay. But, but if like, it is, we should also take into account the person who bought the more interesting objects. Mm, but so. I'm just, you, I could have been cool things with my things. So <laughs> I'm just saying like, if it's okay to lose to your husband. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> let us know in the comments. And as always hit that bell so you can hear more of my husband and I arguing <laughs> on video. Yeah, and just let me know if I want or not. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>